Okay, continuing on into the red slice, we will now take a look at the chi-square distribution. And as usual, we have some notes on that. We have two sets of notes. We have uh, and two new buttons, because of course we have the P of chi-square button, which tells us the area under the curve to the right of a given chi-square score. Let's look at that quickly on the Alex calculator. And you can see that that button is here. Its complementary button, of course, then is up here, the unknown chi-square button. So we'll be working both of these two buttons in this particular problem. And uh, once again, these buttons work very, very much like the T buttons. Sometimes students have figured this out without even uh, having a set of chi-square notes, simply using the T notes. But we have the situation here where we have the, uh, the area that's unknown to the right of a given chi-square square value. Just use the button. If it's to the left, it's 1 minus the button. If it's a slice, then notice here that we have to use the left side uh, minus the right side because the buttons work to the right. So we have that. We also have these complementary notes. If the chi-square is unknown, we use the chi-square button. This button tells you the unknown chi-square value if you enter the area of the curve to the right of it. Now keep in mind here that chi-square is an unusually shaped distribution. It doesn't have any negative values of chi-square. Chi-square values are always positive. And so uh, some notes on that. Let's uh, print those out. You can have those to use. Um, as you work the problems. Let's go back and actually put some of those problems to the test now and see what we've got. Now we'll have a mixture within the uh, problems themselves. We'll have three kinds and the first thing that we want to do is to kind of see what we've got. Notice here that uh, we want to find the area under the curve in the chi-square distribution that is between 7 and 11. Notice chi-square values are neg never negative. And um, also it's a degree of freedom situation, so we're going to use the P of chi-square button, but uh, we'll have to use it twice. Let's consult with our notes as we have before. Notice that we're in the third situation here. So we're going to take the P of chi-square of our left-hand value, our C value, and then subtract the area from the D value, which is the right-hand value. Note the degrees of freedom. And so very similar, very, very similar to what we did in the T button. So what we're going to do here is uh, hit the P of chi-square. Notice that the left-hand value goes first. We have to specify degrees of freedom. And uh, in this case, it's 8. So in our first problem, we will subtract. Hit the P of chi-square again. This time, their chi-square is 11. I have to slide over now. It's getting long. Uh, degrees of freedom, 8. And now we're ready to calculate this value of area that's trapped under there two for uh, three decimal places is three three five so zero zero point three three five. Now in our next situation here, we're doing the opposite thing. Notice that we have the area under the chi-square curve to the right of an unknown value called k and that that area is 0.05. Well, keep in mind that that's uh, exactly what the chi-square button likes to do. If you go back and consult uh, with your notes here briefly, remember here that the uh, chi-square button tells you the unknown chi-square value if you enter the area under the curve to the right of it. And notice that that's exactly what they're asking us to do here because we have this area to the right of our unknown value. So simply hit the chi-square button, put uh, 0 0.05, specify your degrees of freedom here, which again is 8, and we should be good to go. Notice these chi-square values get somewhat large here. This is a big one, 15, and they want three decimal places, two decimal places. So we're going to have 15.51. Okay, now in this last case, this is a bit cryptic, but it's almost exactly the same as the previous one. Remember the median. The median is the number that divides uh, a list of uh, sorted list numbers basically in half. So we got the same thing here. If you have a chi-square median, what that's going to do is to divide the area under the curve in half, which means that we're simply going to uh, take our chi-square button, 
and always use 0.5 here because it's going to take the area under the chi-square curve, which is 1, divide that in half. Once again, we like the right-hand side, so this 0.5 represents the right-hand side of that area, but our degrees of freedom 8, and that's what you do. So the median, simply go with 0.5 for your area under the curve. Calculate that. Of course, this will change for different values or degrees of freedom. 7.34. We want two decimal places, so we are good to go. And that's the chi-square distribution.